Hey guys, Retro Badger here. So in this video, we're going to start playing through Star Trek Online. So I'm going to go straight from the start. Uh, so we're going to start off with the training and then we'll do the missions episode by episode. So here we go. Okay, now I've not played this game for 10 years possibly so yeah this is going to be interesting so i've set my character up and the first thing that happens is that you end up beaming down to the academy so now we need to talk to someone finally i was beginning to think you forgot what today was of course i was first in line oh before i forget i think raski is just ahead he wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the astrometrics final Right, okay. So yeah, what interests me about this game is... Well, the story, obviously. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farah and get your assignment, you should find Terrell. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Okay, another person. So yeah, what I like is how there's actual actors from a TV show in this game. And of course the Enterprise F has made it from this game into the TV show. So it's quite a big thing, really. Greetings. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Very now Vulcan. I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Yeah, that pretty much confirms it. Also the T. Your okay. Shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the mini map if you are far away from your objective. Hey, there's a shuttlecraft. Oh. There you are. Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Is he one of those Aliens, where they had to wear that thing, and they had to, like, breathe that weird gas. He wasn't wearing one, unless they found a way around it. Okay, so, let's go in here. Good afternoon, cadet. Oh! What can I do for you? A pussycat. <laughs> okay. Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. You're going to have to ask him. So if I gave him, like, a ball of yarn, would he start playing with it, do you think? Like, I don't know. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Mm. Press F to interact with the doorbell to notify Captain Taggart of your presence. Ooh, nice view. Good at. I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy, and I must say, I'm impressed. I'm just looking at your final test scores, uh -oh. but I don't see your results for the Advanced Phaser Training Program. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Another fine cadet like yourself. Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you outside. Talk to her to start the phaser training and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, cadet. Okay. Seems like we're fighting for our job then. Got a bit of old fashioned competition. There's the pussycat again. I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. 
Where'd you end up? You never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Ooh, the holodeck. Seems most of our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Yeah, I can't remember if this mission was in the game 10 years ago. From what I gather with this game, they kind of like just build onto it. So they've been adding to it over the years. So maybe it was. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. From what I remember, the ship I ended up with was the galaxy like class in the end. Fixture here at Starfleet Academy. To sprint, tap the shift key while moving. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight. Nope. Setting up the training program now. I hope shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Ooh, goody. Like how I can just grab a phaser. We need to go in the hold deck, I'm assuming. Yep. So we fire by pressing... Oh, I forgot. I'm sure the game will tell us. Oh yeah, one. <laughs> oh, sorry. I just shot someone. I'm sure they deserved it. What are they? Oh yeah, the Klingons. Okay. Oh, well, they'll be happy. Actions are disabled. Once you drop out of combat, more detail about ground combat will become available. All right, okay. Press H to holster and draw your weapon. Ooh, shall I shoot the captain? No, I will let me. Well done, cadet. You're not going to break the academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. That was a quick test. Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations. Hmm. Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. I like this captain's style. He just promotes people. <laughs> Mind you, she's probably going to be pretty cut up about first it. First officer, way to go. Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. Ooh, which one should I pick? Yeah, I'll get for that one. Don't let it go to your head, buddy. <laughs> You'll do great. But we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Remember, your objective locations can also be found on your compass as well as your mini map. Now here Am I still running with a phaser? Report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure. Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. Okay. Oh, we're there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, those shorecrafts are quite big, aren't they? When you play them in Bridge Commander, they don't look that big. Oh, wow, what's going on here? <laughs> Inspire the cadets, intimidate the cadets, be humble. Hmm. Well, well, I guess we should inspire, shouldn't we? Let 
Must be humble. Okay. Oh, 2409. Okay, so... Right. I, I wasn't aware quite what year this was. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. Oh, just saw Will Wheaton then. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Oh, look at Ooh. that. What is that? The USS Vesta. Ah. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our <laughs> around a class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft, average speed, warp 5 point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. Game Wrath of Khan vibes. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. Hey, don't mess with the Miranda class. Look what it did to the Enterprise. Oop. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Name and position? I have your record right here. Welcome aboard. Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use a turbo lift in the nearby quarter. It will take you directly there. Okay. Why do I still... Name and position? Oh. I have your record. Captain Taggart is waiting for you. Right. See look what happens when you try and rush. Okay. Yep, we're still in the training day mission right now. Ooh. Ooh, cool. Nice view screen. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. Hmm. As my number one, I wonder who that I was. I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors. Then disable the tractor moorings. Alright, let's do this in the right order. Otherwise, we'll probably get shattered at. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Okay. Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to remain silent. To sit, right click on the chair you wish to sit in. Well, I did right click. Oh, fair enough. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. You think the Vulcans are easy to deal with? I don't think they are. Ooh. Captain, I'm picking up an automated distress call from the SS Break Even. Their warp core is failing, and they require immediate assistance. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. They are not responding to our hails. Keep trying, Trevelle. Their long-range comms might be down. Number one, let's discuss the situation. Okay. Uh, <laughs> why was he on the floor? Situation number one. <laughs> but such things come with the job. What do you think we should do? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break-even, so it's our duty to assist. Indeed. 
We also don't know what led to this situation either. It could have been an accident or the results of an attack. What do you advise? Hmm. I recommend shields up. So yellow alert, I suppose. Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Indeed. Yellow alert. Raise shields. Number one, hey. I'd like you to oversee the rescue effort once we arrive. Also, we are kind of in the Wrath of Khan ship, so surely by now they've learned something from that. Scan them. Raise shields. To to our Captain, Whoa! Our Flores, fire. Oh, that was unexpected. Oh man, the Borg! Engineering to bridge. Go ahead, engineering. Sir, the Borg are here. We need help. And the Borg can now fire weapons, apparently. I guess it's up to me. Oh, right, okay. Oh man, can you believe the Borg just came out of nowhere? Oops. Right, number one. I want you to go to main engineering and lead the security team efforts there. Get those Borg off my ship. It's going to be a tricky task, especially if they're firing. Sorry for the emergency stop, number one, but there's a problem in the transporter room. The Borg are trying to take it over, most likely to prevent us from using site-to-site -site transports within the ship. Alert. Head to the armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security officers you find on the way. Once you're armed, I need you to go to the transporter room and secure it as soon as possible. We're holding our own so far, number one, but our success depends on securing the ship. Do what you can to get the Borg out of critical areas. Warning. Sir, over here. So you're telling me a Miranda class is holding off a Borg sphere? I'd like to believe that. The command code. Security to engineering. Code red. We should grab rifles to fight off the Borg. Rifles? I want quantum torpedo launchers. <laughs> In fact, why don't we just get some machine guns like we saw on the holodeck? Surely that'll work. I've always thought about that. Oh, hang on. Why don't we have the phaser rifle? Hmm. Oh. Phaser rifle, where are you? There you are. Status report number one. Very well. We're reading Borg life signs in your area. Looks like you'll have to fight your way to the transporter room. Good luck. Yeah, I always thought that about Starship First Contact, how they used a machine gun. And it worked. But maybe the Borg would have adapted. They are highly adaptable. Hmm. Oh, I thought I got you. Well, have they adapted? An item has dropped for you. Move towards the item and press F to loot it. Ooh, what do we have? A hyperspray. Ooh. The real question is, why are the board carrying hypersprays around? in the corridor. I don't think you can make it there. Meow. We still have main power, so yes. Yes, I think I can. Get on the transporter pad and I'll beam you there. Seriously, since when are cats part of Starfleet? I've seen them in Skyrim. Oh, here we go. 
Your timing is fortuitous, sir. We are making a push to retake main engineering. Thank you more. Ah, so number two. That's what I just. Hmm. All right. Okay. Watch you don't hit the warp core. You'd think they'd have some sort of shield in front of them. Oh, okay. I've got an idea. I saw this in a Starfleet history sim, so I'm pretty sure it'll work. I need you to prepare the plasma coolant for emergency release. Any riskier than standing around while the Borg send over more drones? I don't think so. Hurry, I do not want to be assimilated. No, thank you. Yep, they definitely sound bullying, that's for sure. Ooh, what's going on there? Not good. Not good. We need to go now. Quick, release the plasma coolant. Ooh, that's close. <laughs> like zombies. Oh man. Real. Send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Go, see to the bridge. We will secure main engineering. I did not expect to see the Borg in a training mission. So that's definitely changed. The last time I played this, this did not happen. Although, admittedly, that was like a decade ago. Ooh. The bridge is secure for now. Help the others back onto their feet, number one. We may have more unwanted guests before too long. Oh, I owe you. Both of you. Thanks. Oh, he's like one of those, um... He sounds like one of those aliens from I Discovery. Forgot his name. The one who sneezes a lot. Nice work, number one. Oh, looks like that phase of training paid off. Ooh. Uh oh. Hmm. I have a sneaking suspicion I know what's going to happen here, but Captain, let's see. Look out! Yep. We need Commander Shelby, that's who we need. Captain, the Borg vessel has gone to warp and left the system. Based on the amount of damage they sustained, it is logical to assume they disengaged in order to regenerate safely. We... We survived. But the Captain... He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive. Wrong chair. <laughs> Alyssa Flores is now your bridge officer. Bridge oh. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sickbay is full. 
all ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. No response, Captain. I suggest that we move closer for a short-range scan. Okay. All right, so we're in space now. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so yeah, this handles a lot like um, Starfleet Command. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir. But from now on, you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. No life forms detected. The ship is broadcasting its distress signal via automation. I suggest that we remotely order the break-even's computer to cease the distress signal. Yeah, nice effect. I put together a damage report, Captain, and it's not good. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite a beating, but we took too much damage in main engineering. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to work. Ooh. There was a battle here recently between Starfeet and Klingon forces, and the amount of wreckage present is considerable. Despite the dangers involved, the salvage opportunities attract the crews of civilian vessels, like the Breakeven. Logic suggests that we may discover similar opportunities for salvage here. I recommend scanning the debris field. Some of the derelicts present may contain intact plasma injectors. So, the Federation's been fighting the Klingons. That's interesting, I didn't know that. found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Oops. Right. Okay. Press the space bar to fire energy weapons. So, we need... Can we turn the camera? Yeah, we can. So we need to get over there. It's really funny, like, I feel like I'm playing Bridge Commander, so I'm using the mouse wheel to try and speed impulse up, but obviously that doesn't work, that just seems the camera in. And then I think I'm playing Starfleet Command, but I'm not, and those keys aren't working either, so it's going to take a bit of getting used to this, I think. I think for an online game, the graphics aren't too bad, actually. Yeah, I think the ships are pretty detailed. Not bad. We'll get used to this mouse wheel. Right, so... Uh -oh, stop. So do we have to... That somehow didn't feel right doing that, but it worked. Ooh, plasma injector. Convenience. Oh yeah. Fire, duh. Another plasma injector. Over there. I seem to remember in this game that you can travel around the galaxy, but you, you're you kind of limited it with your warp speed at first, and then you can get upgrades like transwarp. I seem to remember getting transwarp, but I could only use it a few times. And I seem to remember there being an original series episode. Ooh, wow, is that a constitution class? I'll have that, please. Getting distracted there. Type R, if I had to guess. Type R Honda 
I'll get everything installed as soon as I can, Captain. Just remember, safety comes first. After all, we don't want to blow up the minute we hit Warp 1. <laughs> Unfortunately so, Captain. We are still unable to send a distress signal. There are several operational Starfleet comm satellites near our position. My preliminary attempts to use them to send a distress signal were not successful. A sensor scan revealed the presence of Borg technology in each satellite, and that they are the source of the jamming signal. Since time is a factor, the most expedient solution to the problem is the destruction of the assimilated satellites. Their elimination should allow us to send a distress signal to Starfleet Command. Cool. You must be within 10 kilometers. Use your phaser banks to weaken shielded targets. So, let's see. Now, yeah, it's like when you're on the ground, isn't it? So, number two should fire torpedoes, I think. Use your torpedoes on an enemy when their shield is down. Right, okay. Not gonna let me fire torpedoes? Wonder what the key is for that. Whoa. Okay. Nice shot. Two more jamming satellites left. Ooh, torpedoes are powerful. Unlike in British Commander. Send the distress uh, yes. Although I hope that doesn't attract some unwanted attention. Oh, what's this? That's a satellite. Captain, the Borg ship sustained damage in our encounter and is likely to be leaking plasma until they have an opportunity to regenerate. We might be able to use that plasma to find them. Understood. Fortunately, our sensors are sufficient to the task of following the trace plasma signature. Now enhancing the plasma trail imaging, the recolored visuals should appear on our mapping systems. Make it so. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. Okay, so... It sounds like we can redistribute power, yeah. Well, that's good. That's really cool, actually. One thing with Bridge Commander, I wish there was like a preset button you could press that could divert power really quickly. Multiple Borg vessels on sensors. Uh oh. These okay. probes do not appear to be shielded. We're in a Miranda-class ship here. I'm a bit concerned. Wow, that was easy. Although I do remember an Intrepid class taking on one of these in a certain show called Voyager. I think they beamed a torpedo aboard. That was actually quite cool. Wow, that's a good job the explosion didn't cause any damage. Can we redistribute? Activate the high yield. Ooh. Oh, why did I do that? That was silly, wasn't it? SS break even. Hmm. I wonder if they've been playing Dabo by any chance. Quark will be involved with this, I guarantee you. I've gone the wrong way. You know what? I was heading... What have I done? I was looking at the greens thing over there. Not very clever. And there's the constitution again. And something else. Maybe another one. Oh yeah, so that's your power, isn't it? 
Oh wow, they've really reduced power in other areas just to get impulse. That's pretty neat. Shuttle base. Captain, the Borg have adapted. Oh. These vessels possess shields. Oh no. Well, we have our new fancy overpowered torpedo thing, so let's try it. Oh, I remember that now with the torpedoes. Reduce. Oh no, don't go down completely. Um. Ah. On Borg ship down. Whoa! Yeah, it seems quite forgiving with the explosions, if I'm honest, which is good for me, because I'm new at this. Okay, we got the extra powerful torpedoes. Hey, there we go. Oh, they do cause damage! Uh-oh. Ooh, what's that? That's a weird looking ship. This is Captain Nog of the USS Chimera. No way! Is that actually him as well? Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory. Sounds like him. Where is Captain Taggart? I see. And you're the acting captain. Right. Well done, Cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for our position. Chimera out. Alright. Yeah, this is definitely a new tutorial mission. I don't ever remember doing this. Wow, that is a cool looking ship. Another oh no! Spear is attacking. Hey, it's got four um, water cells, that's cool. Oop. Oh gosh, it's a bug sphere. Oh, that's a weird looking... Hang on a second. Is that... um? One of the Jem'Hadar, an assimilated Jem'Hadar, how terrifying. Oh man, they're in a bad way. Oops. Oh, why have we gone dark? Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, neat. This uh. is Admiral Janeway. What? Looks like you're having a little Borg trouble. Let's see what we can do about that. She's still flying around in Voyager. Come on, Voyager should be a museum. Surely. I'm not complaining or anything. I always thought Voyager got turned into a museum. Cool to see Janeway though. Hang on a second. Why are they not using the armor? Oh, of course, the Borg assimilated it, didn't they? So it's probably useless by that point. And of course, as we all know, you can never destroy the poor queen. You'll always find a way to come back. Uh oh, our shields are doing pretty bad here. Hmm. Offensive. I'm changing my power settings a bit. For obvious reasons. I think we got him. Ooh. Where's Voyager? We've got our work cut out for us. Cadet, where's your captain? Assimilation isn't a fate that anyone should suffer. And I hesitate to think about what the Borg would do with a captive Starfleet captain. They must have taken him for a reason. 
Otherwise, they wouldn't have left without assimilating your entire crew. Agreed. We'll do everything we can to bring your captain home, cadet. Mm. I don't like the sound of that at all. We need to get to the Pollock system and help the Kittimer before it's too late. Indeed it does. I'll need all the help I can get with this situation. Consider this a field promotion, Captain. Hey. Now then, set a course to the Pollock system, best possible speed. Voyager and Chimera will rendezvous with you there. Janeway out. Ooh. Congratulations, Lieutenant. Right, so we now have some upgrades, I believe, from what I remember. Okay. It's the inventory we need to go into, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. Right. So, hyper impulse. How can I compare you? How do I compare it to the current system? There we go. Right, so we have impulse, which is 8.6. 8 8.5. 8 hmm. 0 0.4. 3. Oh, whatever. Let's just change it around. And we've got a Type 1 phaser. Okay. We'll equip that because I think it's better than. Yep. That's right. They go green when it's better, I think. Okay. Alright, let's go to the Pollux system. We've arrived in the Pollock system, Captain. I have the Kittimer on sensors. She's taken heavy damage and is not responding to our hails. Your orders? Okay, well, I think I'll leave it there, guys. So, thanks for watching, and I'll upload the next mission in the next few days. Bye for now.